Um, in my personal opinion, uh, I thought it would be a good idea if everybody were involved, that would include York City, North York, and West York, uh, because they have withdrawn. I just don't see any point either uh, in continuing the authority uh, in a direction that it's going. So at, at this point, I can't make the motion, but my opinion is, uh, first of all, that we withdraw, and second of all, cancel the June 10th meeting of the public hearing. And uh, I do agree with Manuel and what he said, that we need to continue the talks. Uh, that's, in my opinion, what we had started out to do, was to draw communities together, draw the cities, the boroughs, uh, townships, anybody that would consider being part of uh, the talks uh, to get into this general authority, but uh, until we have something more down the road, uh, my preference, my personal preference at this time is to withdraw. I make a motion to withdraw and to cancel the June 10th uh, meeting. Second. Uh, I have a motion from Brian Wilson to withdraw and cancel the June 10th, and I have a second from Shelley. Can I, can I just add something yeah. to that? It goes along with, uh, with them. I, I'm in total agreement. Uh, <coughs> I wasn't here at the last meeting because uh, I was attending the Pennsylvania State Association of Boroughs annual conference. And uh, in this Commonwealth for the residents of West York Borough, we have 958 boroughs in this Commonwealth at this time. 907 of them are members of the Pennsylvania State Association of Boroughs, which is a huge organization. Um, they have they have millions of dollars uh, invested, and that's where um, our police and our fire pension comes out of, the MRT. Um, they do other programs for us as a borough. We have been members uh, for a long, long time, and we do get benefit from it. When I went to that conference, um, I, I was center of the road about an authority. I did not know anything about it. And so one of my chief goals was at that um, conference, at that four-day conference, to find out all that I could find out about an authority. Um, I know we are part of the sewer authority, um, where York City actually owns and processes the sewer um, out at the hop, behind the hop there. That's where the plan is. And West Manchester flows into us. We flow into the city, city pumps it up there, and so we're all paying for that. And, and they just, um, I think it was four or five years ago, we went through a, um, a, uh, a project with that authority where it was millions of dollars. And um, so it, we all shared it equally uh, to better the plant, and so our sewer um, did go up a little bit. So I went to this... Um, to this uh, conference and I asked as many people as I could from all the boroughs across the Commonwealth that attended that conference um, I said hey what do you guys know about authorities municipal authorities tell me the good the bad and the ugly I, I want I want to know it all because I don't know anything about it. and everybody that I talked to um, consented don't get involved in an authority okay um, and so with everybody speaking that way having experience um, I uh, actually called Steve from up there and it was after the meeting and I said uh, Steve I can't support this um, I will not support it and if if there's an ordinance drafted um, I will veto it and then you guys will have to come up with five votes to override me, um, and if you do, so be it. But the biggest deal with authorities is that, that I'm being told now, that I've learned, is that any time you enter into an authority, you lose control. And that we don't want to do. I mean, you know, it's, it's one thing of, of out, if, if, down the road we look, and, and it's cheaper for us to do business by getting somebody else to provide a service but we get better service than what we even have now and it's cheaper we have the fiducial responsibility as leaders in this 
in, in this borough to take a serious look at that to keep taxes down for individuals. However, having said that, um, I don't, I'm not really willing to lose control. I'm not willing for for three. Um, I, that would mean that we'd have to be we'd have to win North York over and get their four votes against York City's three to stop anything that York City would want to do. And I, I just don't think that that's a wise idea at all. So my recommendation was, let's, let's just forget it. Let's openly talk. Now, another thing I did find out and learn up, up there at the conference is the fact that there's a, there's a thing called a COG, C-O-G, and it stands for Council of Governments. You don't lose control. The COG can be set up where five or six municipalities come together and, and they say, hey, we want to do all bulk buying, purchasing of all our paper products, um, office stuff, um, you know, everything uh, for operation. And if five or six different municipalities go together and they buy through this COG, Council of Governments, you can buy in bulk quantity and, and get a pretty good reduced price. And then that's passed on and everybody is, is a win-win. That is not um, losing control. And, and so I would suggest that we look into that sort of thing Let's develop a cog between four or five municipalities. Let's talk to them and say, hey, are you, are, are you in the market in the next four years, five years for a street sweeper? We need one desperately here in West York. And if they are, they're two hundred and fifty dollars to, to $500,000, maybe we could get two uh, for a third off of both of them. Um, and, and so the savings would be passed on to us. It would be a win-win. That kind of a cooperation I'm in total agreement of. I think we need to look at that, move forward, and talk to other municipalities in that line. But to lose authority? No. I'm not, I'm not willing to do that. I, I, and I'm not the head of the meeting, so I'm sorry. I said my piece. So I agree with the motion. Um, I think we need to... Tell York Counts uh, or York Foundation, thank you, um, but um, we're really not interested at, at this point. Hey, Mr. Mayor, what you said about this COG, what I heard you say about the COG, there's only one drawback to it. You still need the administration. You still need the oversight and all of the people that are going to be making these decisions. It's just a scaled down, in, in my opinion, it's just a scaled down version of what we're talking about right now, this Greater York Authority. Can you explain the difference? No, it, it's really not because there is no, we don't lose authority. Um, it would be set up to do all purchasing of paper products and everything. You would only pay for what you use. but. It would be in bulk quantity. So, in other words, if we went together with Spring Garden, West Manchester, um, North York, York City, and West York, and, and we need paper. So we call the four or five different municipalities and say, how does your paper look? How does your supplies look? Give me an order. Let's put an order together. And that's what they do. Now, it is administrative. Um, to my knowledge, it's not paid administrative. It's, it's, it's appointed um, by the municipalities to oversee that and to do the coordination of it. But it doesn't cost the borough any more. All it is is buying bulk so that everyone gets the benefit. But you mentioned street sweepers, <laughs> and I want to I um, make a statement about the law of proportionality that I mentioned in the York City Council. And since we have 4,600 residents and York City has 43,000 residents, when you start talking about buying paper in bulk or 
these type office supplies in bulk, I can understand that, even though it still requires oversight and administration. Well, once you start talking about half million dollar purchases and so forth, how do you, how can you justify the law of proportionality as to how much York City would pay, how much West York would pay, and so forth? Oh, it wouldn't be the, they wouldn't be using our it, we would be going together to buy two or three of them. Each municipality that ordered it, though, would pay for theirs only. You know what I'm saying? It wouldn't be split. You get two street sweepers for two municipalities, and all five of them would be charged equal amounts for the total amount of the two. No. It's the going together. It's the buying larger. It's like a Sam's Club. They buy in huge bulk so they can pass the savings on. That's what a COG does. A COG gets municipalities together to bulk purchase, but you only pay for what you need. You only pay for what you use. You know, and you don't overbuy uh, unless everybody agrees to it. You know, if we need five cases of paper and all the other all the other municipalities need five cases of paper. Um, so, and you got five municipalities, that's 25 cases of paper. It would certainly make, we would get a, a, a price break buying 25 cases from whether it be Staples, Office Max, wherever, um, than buying five cases. You know what I'm saying? And that is what I'm talking about. That's what a COG does. COG doesn't give up give up any authority, um, and, and it's just bulk purchasing so that every municipality gets it cheaper than buying it individually. Um, so we wouldn't be paying for paper that would be going to York City. You know, we wouldn't be paying for a street sweeper that would be used by York City if we bought it. If we bought it, it would be ours. Totally. So there's no law of proportionality. You can't foresee any any situation where um, some big project that would involve several boroughs, like uh, the, like the proposed regionalization of police, okay, that was proposed by this council. When they considered the initial, uh, when they made the initial statement Jeff, on April 1st. Can you wind it up, Jeff? Yes, sir. Thank you. In other words, that was one of, it's in the minutes, that was one of the things that was talked about after the contract was already signed. Then they, they then all of a sudden there was this great interest in this, in this Greater York Authority because there might be the possibility of regionalization of police. Now, where do you stand on the no. regionalization of police? Uh, let me answer that question. There was no regionalization of police in any part of that authority. It's illegal. You can't do it. Police are their own standalone. They were not part of any authority. Okay, with that, uh, Ken, can we move on to you? Um, about the um, working with the birds and that stuff, the other birds. Um, I heard about that a couple of weeks ago. You know, when, when all this stuff came into play, that you know the people that got together and and they got this the sweeper and and how they they uh, can work to get the uh, paper and that stuff. What, did you read someone else's minutes or something? No, no. No, I found this out at PSAB at the no, uh, I mean, at the I, you conference. know, all of a sudden, you're singing like a bird and any other council meeting, you don't say nothing. No, you don't I'm not even saying, call, I'm not you don't even no, like compliment. Bird, but if you want to know any more about the yeah. COG, I can get PSAB yeah. to come down and talk. Yeah, I, um, I mean, I didn't... You know, no. this is the most you talk. I, I thought you were dead up here. I was going to ask Nick to, you know, I, I'm, I'm sorry, you know. You know, I have respect for you saying that stuff, but holy crap. You know, the guy don't say nothing until the day of Okay. Thank you. Mary. Okay. Uh, Shane, go ahead. Okay, Shelly? Yes. Brian? Yes. Nancy? Uh, we're willing to withdraw from yes. the authority yes. and also cancel the June 10th meeting. Yes. Yes. See? And I've also voted yes, so it makes it unanimous. 
Okay, done. I can only say one thing about that. When I voted yes for that, it was a matter of saving money, and that's the problem with the borough and what the table's about. Many on this table are not concerned about saving money, and that is the main problem. We know that. That's why we're voting tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Right. So how, how can you vote to uh, do something when you don't know anything about it? Well, that's what the hearing was for. Yeah. But how can we vote to do the ordinance when we knew nothing about it? Well, that's what the hearing was for. <laughs> but how could you vote to pursue it? But that's what the hearing was for. You have, to, you have to know something about it before you can do the ordinance. To that's correct. That was what the hearing was for. Did you guys read the it's municipal done. act? Pardon? Did you read the municipal act? Did you read the municipal act? Uh, once again, that's what the hearing was for. Yeah, I, I can't say I read it specific. The hearing was scheduled for June the 10th, where all this was supposed to be brought to light. Uh, it's put, uh, so what the... research did you do? <coughs> That's what the hearing is for. We, look, we looked at it, okay, we looked at a general idea. We did that. A hearing was scheduled for June the 10th. That was scheduled. We're done with it. It's done. Let's move on. Well, now there's a greater issue here. I mean, you, you're, you wanted to try to forward with this municipal authority. However, I don't hear any, any preparation or any research on That's your part. Hearing is for no, but you should have been reading this before. You should have downloaded I'm this and read this. Speak. That's what the hearing is for on June the 10th. It's canceled. You know, we're going to move on. Go ahead. Um, <laughs> All right, I'm going to say this. So I'm going to say this. It's probably not the right thing, but, you know, it's all the people that I am far from politically correct, and I'm not going to change who I am to try and get some seat right. or win an election. I'm not. You people are asking, okay, have you been? I know you've been at the meetings. I know you've been at the meetings. What don't you understand? June the 10th was about finding out information. What I'm saying he is. He had until June the no. 10th to read that. He should have been reading this before when he got the first letter from the, the York City Borough from Mr. Nixon but in order for him to was prepare and lead the council forward, this should have been read by Mr. Herman. It should have been disseminated yeah, to the and council. He would have and they all should it should not have been done at June tenth. It should have been done long before that because then the issues in they, here they that to, Mr. It's Herman not June just yet. related would time. have been he would have, he would have had it's time to read it. Let's move on. But I, you I, know I just, everybody wants to say, oh we're voting okay. to get this authority. We're not voting to get an authority we're voting to have vote. a meeting about. And you canceled the meeting, right sir? The That's public, yes. the public meeting, meeting is canceled, the subject is gone. I did do my research on, the, on this municipality, and I feel as though that something was done, I'm going to say the same words as some of the city council people to Mr. Nixon, and something was done because the information came so fast, so quickly, and had West York Borough's name all over that one document that we got to join a municipality, join this municipality authority. And Mr. Herman, I, I still think you knew a little bit more on this subject until the public was educated, and then they came to the to the meeting and allowed. I knew we both stood at the York City Council meeting in the East, or that committee meeting, and you stated that you were in favor of this because you believe there are positives out. Of it. I believe that there was we have to do our responsibility at this table is to do our research. And to tell a resident that you didn't do any research on it before you go to the hearing, to have the hearing, we have to ask questions, and we have to look through that document and see what those questions the hearing are. hearing was scheduled for the purpose of getting the information. Because Mr. that was the only thing. And each municipality had received an ordinance that had their name on it. New York City had theirs, North York had theirs, but they said their but I, I still go back to the resident. It's our responsibility. We should have done the, the homework, each and every one of us here, when that came up. And that's why I didn't want to vote on it that night. We should have waited to vote on that to even have any thoughts. And why would we advertise something that we know nothing about? How's that just to hear these words? It's not anything that anyone knows anything about. We don't want to be going to hear something that you know nothing about. It's over. Um, uh,